Hi, I'm Nelson from Dundas. This video tutorial is just one of the videos that we'll be producing to help you understand the features and benefits of Dundas Dashboard. In this video, I'm going to create a KPI with a calculated measure. I hope you enjoy it. First, let's expand virtual tables in the Synatica Dashboards project, expand the Finance folder, and then open up the Revenue and Expense virtual table. Let's go to the Preview tab and generate this query to have a look. You can see that this table contains our revenue and expenses by month. For this example, let's say we don't want to display either revenue or expenses on a dashboard, but rather the difference between the two, or the gross margin for this company. Let's start by creating a new KPI in the tutorial folder called 4.02 Calculated Measure. For this example, we're going to use the revenue and expense virtual table that we just looked at. For measures, let's bring in both revenue and expenses. Now we're not going to use contextual measures for this example, and since we want to show gross margins by month, we're going to select month as our instant dimension. Let's click on finish to close this wizard. Now let's go to the measures and states tab to have a look at the two columns that we selected for our measures. You can see revenue and expenses listed out at the top, with the first measure we clicked on, revenue, automatically selected as the default. The default measure is ultimately what is displayed on the dashboard. To display gross margins, however, we're going to have to create a calculated value, so let's click on Add Calculated Value. This will bring up the Calculated Measure Wizard. We're going to call this measure Gross Margin. Now we have two options at our disposal for creating a calculation or an expression. We can create either a database expression or a Dundescript expression. A database expression is an expression that's calculated on the server itself. You can use this to create standard mathematical functions like sum, average, min, and max. A Dundescript expression is an expression that's evaluated on the client itself. So while these expressions calculate slower, they allow you to exercise unlimited flexibility in writing the expression and come with a large number of predefined mathematical functions. Since this is a simple calculation, we're going to use a database expression to take advantage of performing this calculation faster on the server. The next screen allows us to build this database expression. You can type in the expression manually and you can use a measure values drop down to add them to your expression. The formula we're going to use for gross margin is simply revenue minus expenses. Now it's just a matter of parsing this expression and clicking on finish. You can see that the gross margin measure has now been added to the list of measures. In the expression action column, you can click on the setup button to edit the expression or click on the X to delete it. To make this measure the default measure, or what ultimately appears on the dashboard, let's change the default from revenue to gross margin. Let's have a look at this KPI now by going to Parameters and Preview, and then clicking on Preview Data. You can now see that the gross margin column appears next to our revenue and expenses columns. This KPI is now ready for use. That concludes this video tutorial. Don't forget to click on this screen's links to access additional tutorials, our online demo, or to download a full evaluation copy, all available on www.dundas.com. Thanks, and I hope you enjoy Dundas Dashboard.